Yes, I did see a vision. Hmm. Go ahead. The presence of God is really, really upon us today. I think we need to just honor that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're holy God. I saw a... a goat or a... I never know what it's called. The beast of some sort. The same one it looked like with the straight horns that go back. Um, it had approached this bush and the bush was dead, but it had these like gumball sized circular fruits on it and they were bright red. They were cherry red. They were just beautiful to the eye, Mm. but they were on a dead tree. Mm. And then this beast approached the tree and started eating these, this fruit. And you could see that it was chewing up this fruit. And, and it, it got close into the jaw so I could see what it was chewing, but I don't know. I just think it's significant to see that um, it was just chewing and chewing and chewing and chewing this um, fruit. Anyways, um, it continued to chew and eat this fruit off of the tree. And then I saw that its back feet were kind of like a bull's feet before it goes for that um, blanket thing you know, the charging of the bulls, how its feet kind of kick up dust. Mm -hmm. The back feet of this um, goat or beast um, were kicking up like it was rearing up and ready to go. And then it kind of rammed into this bush, this dry bush, and got stuck in it. Mm -hmm. Next to that beast on the right side was a sheep. Mm -hmm. And you can see that this sheep was very close to this other goat but you can see that there was a lush full of life bush that this lamb was eating from Mm. it was eating the leaves of this tree it was a tree Mm. it was eating the leaves of this tree and then you could look up and you can see that this tree's roots were planted in the heavens Mm. that the tree was planted in the heavens and it came downward like upside down almost in the the top of the tree was where the um, lamb was eating from. And this lamb got up on its hind legs and put its front legs on this other animal so that it could reach up even higher and reach more of this tree. And you can see on the sheep that the leaves of this tree, the nourishment or the spiritual nourishment was bringing about change in this sheep's coat. Mm. And you can see that it was bringing about changes here and there. Mm. But then from the heavens, a light came down, starting at the head of the sheep, going across the whole body of it, Mm. a light, a glorious light, a light of glory Mm. um, in, in, in a dove in this light. And it was just purifying this sheep, this beast from head to toe and cleaning it purely. Mm. And it was the Holy Spirit doing this. It was, it was definitely the Holy Spirit coming and just from head to toe with a light, almost like a laser sort of just very on a thin line, just kind of going in the light of glory, just kind of washing over this sheep into this wool that was just white as snow. This, this wool was just completely white. The Lord showed me closely what color it was, and it was just completely mm. just this beautiful, bright white. And that was what I saw. Mm. Now, I think I'm going to give an understanding of this, which I'm using as a, to confirm what we're teaching. So, the goat is those hard of pride for the all God's people. But the ones, the sheep, you know the story, the sheep. So it's the separation goat and the sheep is happening. Now, then the food, the partaking were interesting. The red appealing fruits is in the garden, right? This is a tree for death. 
like the tree of the death, they're speaking the wisdom from below, the wisdom of the evil one, you know, the tree of knowledge, good and evil. The tree from heaven, obviously, is the tree of life. Hallelujah. So, um, the Lord, then with the partaking of it, you know, then you're getting transformed. But with the transformation, there is a two distinct phases. MRI one is by partaking, continuing partaking, you change. Am I right? You change. Then there is a divine grace. A light from heaven comes speaking has nothing to do with partaking. is to be about um, a, a special blessing, a special enabling happen. Am I right? So, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, that's that. So, mm -hmm. And uh, the same goat is, I believe, is representing the evil one. Mm. He's, uh, he's a picture, you know. Uh, the picture of uh, satanic worship is a goat. So, um, so speaking about the profound deception of the devil, mm -hmm. the devil, and he's a son, he's a children. Mm -hmm. Do not be surprised because Jesus taught the Pharisees, "You are sons of the devil." You know, your mm -hmm. father is a liar. So, you know, so they partaking a different wisdom, partaking a different wisdom. I think about the same time that Nicole saw a vision, I saw a vision. Good. And um, I saw like this hill. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a real big hill, but it was a hill that was clearly just the one, the only one in the horizon. Mm -hmm. Behind it, you could see the blue sky. Mm -hmm. And up, up, I either just had stepped up on it or was standing up on it was a rider on a white horse mm -hmm. in a white robe, dressed all in white. What? What on the right horse? A uh, rider? A rider on oh, the white okay. horse. Mm. He was dressed all in white. Mm. And he had his hand on his sword. Mm. Um, and he was looking in, 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 in the direction towards, like, I mean, Mecca guy and he was looking in the direction, kind of sense towards me, but, mm. um, but just out off in the distance. Mm. Um, mm. And then he had his, he had his, his hand on his sword. Mm. Um, and then that was the end of the vision. What do you understand about it? Um, I, uh, I thought of the rider on the white horse in Revelation mm -hmm. um, who, uh, who comes and has the armies of God behind him. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I, I, I have a sense of, of the Lord's authority and the Lord's power. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Bless the Lord. That is a wonderful vision. I mean, the Lord give you a personal application. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Our vision is given mm -hmm. for others. Our vision given for ourselves. Learn to discern the purpose of vision. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I saw three things yes. today. The first, first thing I saw just before I prayed the first time was... Um, a thick. Uh, I don't know how to. I don't know how to put it into context, but it was uh, a thick layer portion, something of gelatinous, like fat or blubber. It was mm. black or dark gray, mm. um, and there was a razor sharp sword that came downward to to cut straight through it. Mm. Um, not gelatinous like. You know, something that would not be, could only be cut mm. with a very sharp sword. Mm. Um, that's the first thing that I saw. Mm. Then thing represent, let me be very straight, the mindset of a dull spirit. Mm -hmm. The will of approaching God in dull spirit. The mm -hmm. dull heart, to understand, you know. Dullness of the heart. Dull. The word is dull. For God to speak to you, you know, hear, but it means nothing. It produces nothing. You agree with it, but you never change. Though, and the devil like for God's people to stay there. Mm. Because 
dull people. He can bless all day long. They will not do any harm to him. They have all everything, but they can do nothing to him or progress anything in God. It's dead in terms of spiritual effectiveness. Do, do. Amen. Go ahead. Second, second thing I saw was when Tim was praying, and it was um, brief. Uh, it was either first I thought it was a city, and then maybe a, a large building, but it was um, <coughs> on a <coughs> on a rock, like on a on ground. But this what <laughs> it, it looked like it was kind of a fantastical image, like. The rock was like floating above the above the earth, so it was like the the ground that it was on had been like carved out of the ground, and then that was lit and floating in the sky essentially. Um, and that was all that I saw on that. It's coming down. No, it was just, it was suspended in the sky. It was removed from. It was like it was scooped. It was like the this massive area of ground had been. Scooped up and lifted the whole the whole thing up, um, and was you know no longer attached to the earth, but was suspended in the air, in the sky. Hmm. <coughs> well, now pray with me, Hallelujah, Lord! I pray against you, devil. Mm -hmm. You will not deceive the mind. You will not condemn our heart. You will not lay hold us in your darkness, in your incapacitation. Holy Spirit, you are active like a sword. More than the deal within us, but you are able to serve the devil's lies and to free your people. To cut off the chains or to cover the bars. Today I just ask you that dull will or mind our understanding, hide the face of glory of God from us, knowledge in the face of Jesus Christ. Lord, we will see Jesus as who He is. He's the Lord the King, He's not the cheerleader. Lord, we just praise you. Praise you, Lord. Praise you for who you are. Thank you, Father. You are the most gentle, lovely, and uh, patient, and kind, and compassionate one. You are innocent, like a dove. And, and you are innocent, like a, like a lamb, Lord. But at the same time, you are almighty. You are just. You are the ruler of heaven and earth. So Lord, I pray the devil will rob, not rob us of that side of the blessing of you in our lives, Lord. The authority, the soaring, the governing aspects of your ways, your character, your ministry, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. We refuse to allow the world to dig to us. How you operate in those things. We want the Father to impart and teach us. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And the third thing I saw was soon when you were praying, uh -huh. and it was actually before Nicole shared her vision. Uh -huh. But I saw the the I saw the clouds um, open in a very exact circle to allow a sunbeam to shoot down to the ground. Mm. Very um, designed, you know, mm. Mm. very perfect looking. Mm. And after the sunbeam was down on the ground, uh -huh. um, I had the impression that the, the vision was going to be over, but I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, after that, a, a huge arrow came down through that channel of light into the ground, mm. like massive, like the size of a building. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it hit the ground and split the earth. Mm. A massive, like fissure, mm -hmm. 
dividing line almost is what the, the, the word in my head was dividing line but it was a chasm that was opened up from the arrow oh, that wow. came down mm. that, and, that planted in the earth mm. um, yeah. wow that is some mighty vision you guys <laughs> <laughs> a royal literary vision same right mm. same when we thank you for those kind things God is good. God is powerful. Lord, I just bless you. I thank you for your forgiveness of my sins. Thank you for your fist support of me. Thank you for feeling the things that I am deficient of or even rebel against or even unable uh, to fully uh, feasible with, Lord, or ignorant of, Lord. But you are willing, Lord. I thank you for the feasible servants, the sons, daughters you rally around here. I ask you for a special blessing to make them strong and mighty, Lord. Not because of who we are, but because we depend on you and believe the word you're calling unto us, Lord. They're not small callings, not self-invited, not the self-presumed, Lord. Because of that, the devil told us first to say, Is that really happened to me? That's really real for me? The second, the Lord. He will oppose us when we rise up to pursue it, Lord. He said, you can't get that easily. You can't just, Lord, in this too, we ask you to, first one, allow us to make a good stand in your calling, Lord, in our understanding about who we are in you, who you are for us. The second one, Lord, we ask for your empowerment to overcome, Lord, to overcome all his schemes, all his ways, all his oppositions, Lord. Mm -hmm. Teach us to be a meek people. Meek, Lord. Mm -hmm. Full of meekness. Meek because we never do anything outside your will, Lord. We'll do it in your way, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Along with some of the other things that we're seeing, I saw, mm -hmm. um, well, the time, I saw 11, 17, 17, or no, 11, 11, 17, and 18. Because oh, the seconds oh, oh, were... Hold on, hold on. 11, what? 11, 11, 17. So the, the seconds were counting. Ah, oh, is that <laughs> so, right? And then when we were reading in Proverbs, it was on uh, page 711. And it was then that I saw... It was like a huge room. You're kidding me. Here we go. 1111. 1111 is a Peter's words. 1011, sorry. Look at that. The Lord told me to pay attention to it. I just said I didn't pay attention to it. So it's Second Peter. This page. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> reverse to 7 11. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, any, anyway, God is good. Well, Amen. pay attention to this month. Mm. This month from the 7, I think it'll really to you guys move as well. Mm. But something's going to happen on 7 11. Mm. I, I firmly believe. I'm not sure. However, <laughs> so okay. <laughs> I mean, God, interesting, you know. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I been praying, rather not praying, but waiting for God has outpouring upon us. Mm. You know, this visitation will be different. It's no other than like the. Commission thing. It's, it's not just baptize people in the Holy Spirit. It's a commission. So I think today you went through Nicole's prayer vision. She saw that. Mm. The Lord is brooding us, prepare us, He shape us, He crush us, He bruise us, He, he dashes us, he, he stretches us, He smashes us. All the things He does to make us palpable, you know? Mm. Become a ready vessel for his usage. Mm. And the devil surely is not happy about it. He can he, he will try everything he can on his end. Stop it. God knows it, you know. So and uh, go ahead. So I saw um, what would be like a huge throne room and I only saw a portion of it, but it was like mm from the top coming around, it was a scroll being opened, but it was like a giant curtain being pulled out mm. 
but I could see that it was a scroll and I could see the writing on it and the sunlight shining through. I was seeing the backside, but it was going to curl around in front, mm. um, which is interesting. I just was trying to see this here and I just opened a revelation, Brad, and here's the writer, the writer on the white horse. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, Read that portion. Mm. Go ahead. Uh, it's in Revelation 19, verse 11. It says, I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and makes war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. Hmm. The armies of heaven are, were following him, riding on white horses and dressed with fine linen, white and clean. Out of his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has his name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Mm. Mm. Well, read on 17. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun who cried in a loud voice to all the birds flying in midair, Come! Gather together for the great supper of God. Mm. Let's stop there. That's actually the parable I wanted to talk about today. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning, I have no chance to talk about it. You know? yeah. <laughs>